everybody, it's Jess from jesslarson.blogspot.com and I'm here with a quick haul and then our usual Make It Monday video. So my majority of this haul will be stamps, but I wanted to show you a couple of other favorites of mine. Um, those are the Hero Hues Pearls and Gems and they're my favorite to use for embellishing. I highly recommend those. And I also wanted to show you these memento markers. I got the um, Stone Mountain set which is browns and gray and then the black, which is probably what I'll use the most. But what's really cool about this is they are the same ink that is in the Memento Tuxedo Black ink pad, which if you watch any of my other videos, you'll know that's my favorite. I use it all the time. Um, but it'll be great for tracing around images, um, you know, if I want to write my own sentiment, um, for things like that. These are um, the Unity stamps that I picked up. I got the Destination Happiness, and this one is a wood-mounted one. And then I got a lot from their Itty Bitty line. That is the um, Heartfelt Tree of Thanks, and it has a little hearts coming down from the tree. I thought that was really cute. And another awesome thing that Unity does is include free um, a couple free stamps with every order, so that's always really fun. I got this little Itty Bitty that's Nicest Place to Be. Um, this butterfly one is Perfect the Way You Are. And then the last itty bitty was happy for this moment with a little clock. Thought those were pretty cute and they are really cheap, like two or three bucks a pop. Um, I got a few different sets. This one only has two stamps in it, but they're pretty big stamps. That was Feel the Joy. I picked up Best Wishes and Blooms. Lots of flowers, lots of pretty sentiments in that one. This one I used... Um, on Friday's card, I used that tree that says, Could I Be Any Cuter? I love that set, too. And then this one's sort of a Get Well Soon set called Heart Times. All right, let's get into this week's Make It Monday. I have a 6x6 six six piece of craft cardstock there. It's actually 6x12, six but I scored it at the 6-inch mark. And I'm adhering a piece of pattern paper from the American Crafts Dear Lizzie collection right onto the front, um, and it has a fourth of an inch border around the whole thing. I'm letting the pattern paper do a lot of my work in this week's Make It Monday card. Then I took that stamp and I just roughly stamped it on some copy paper and cut it out to kind of figure out the placement of where I want everything to go. And now I'm going to stamp just the camper from that um, stamp there onto some craft cardstock. And then there are three hearts on the front of that camper and I just colored them in with a couple of pink Copic markers just to add a little color but not you know too much. I actually originally tried to color in the whole thing and it was just too busy. That background already has a lot going on and so I didn't need you know a fully colored camper on the front either. Now you'll see that memento marker in action. I am just going around the outside edge of that camper with it just to finish off the edge so I don't have any craft cardstock showing. I think this makes it look so much more complete and more done when you do that with your cutout images. Now I am just taking some dimensional um, foam dimensional adhesive and I'm going to put that around the outside of the camper. I use a lot here. I, I'm not really sure why I use so much. <laughs> um, you don't need this much. But I am just going to pop that out. And I had to cut around the tire um, just to make it look right when I had to cut out the whole thing. But that was okay because you couldn't really tell because I um, attached the tire here and kind of tuck it in there. So it looks, it looks normal. Now I have my big shot out and a piece of pink cardstock, and I was inspired by the half and half set from Paper Tray Ink this month. If you haven't seen it, I have a link to it in this post. Go check it out. Basically, it creates a little sentiment panel on your card um, with dies and stamps, and I'm going to order it, but obviously haven't gotten it yet. So I tried to make my own using the Matte Stack 4 die and a little cotton ball there. And the cotton ball is just so that the back part of that die doesn't cut through it. Um, see how I sort of back it in to make sure, or do it forward to make sure it cuts and then back it out. And that's how the little strip is created. Now I have my stamp -a jig out, and I am just trying to get perfect placement on that little pink strip. Even using my stamp -a jig, I somehow managed to not get perfect, um, perfectly lined up. But that's okay. This card was a little, a little more fun, and, you know, it didn't require me to be perfect, so... I always like that. Uh, I'm just taking my post-it down there to mask off um, the camper part of the stamp because it is all one piece and I don't want to have the camper stamped onto my sentiment strip. 
So I'm just pushing it down there and you can see it looks pretty good. Now I am going to just ink around the outside edges um, with a couple of my absolute favorite distress inks. That is um, Antique Linen and Vintage Photo. And if you're just starting to buy distress inks, those are my two favorite for going around the outside of a project. Antique Linen is a little bit lighter um, and then Vintage Photo is a little bit darker. So they're a really nice, a nice combo there, I think. I felt like that outside edge, uh, that fourth of an inch, you know, that was left by the piece of pattern paper really needed something to finish it off. So I am taking a Copic multi-liner and just going around the outside edge and kind of creating a little um, lined border. You could do this with any pen. I probably could have done it with my memento pen, you know, or any scrapbooking journaling pen. Even a ballpoint pen would work fine. Um, but it's just to kind of finish off that outside edge and I really kind of like the look of this and it's so easy. It's a lot easier than sewing around the edge, which I like to do. Um, so I definitely think I'll be bringing this um, back to more cards. And now I have my sentiment strip there and I'm just marking where I'm going to score it because I'm going to fold it around the outside of the card. So I score it with my Martha Stewart scoreboard and then just tuck it back there. And I like the look of that so I'm just going to um, grab my ATG and pop it on there. Pretty easy. I had a little time to play with it before my ATG fully stuck, so that was good too. Now we are almost done. I'm going to grab the Hero Hues that I showed you earlier in the haul part of this video and just put them in the bottom and top corner. I use a large one, a medium one, and a small one, and I really think this helps finish it off. I believe those are the blush set. It's like all pinks and reds, but I'm not 100% on that. And I get mine from joannes.com. They are included in the 40% off scrapbooking sale that they seem to always be having. And I think they come out to be like $1.50 each, which is the cheapest that I've seen them. So I think that's a, a pretty good deal. And I go through them so quick that I always try to stock up when I'm putting in an order there. I am just going to add my last one on there and try to get it all straight there. And then I am going to ink around the edges. Again, I'm going to use the antique linen and the vintage photo. Uh, other good inks for the outside would be tea dye, uh, old paper is good, um, pumice stone is good if you're going, that's a little grayer, and that one is sometimes good too. I have a picture of the whole card to show you here, and then a close-up of the card. Thanks so much for watching, and check out JessLarson.blogspot.com for more.